Well, welcome everybody to uh, the field halls here in Westby, where tonight's Cooley Conference game has a Norseman hosting the West Salem Panthers. Right now it looks like they are honoring the parents tonight here at Westby. West Salem coming in here nine and two, Dan, overall. Uh, let's see what they did last time they played Westby. Leading scores are CJ McConkey with 19 and a half points a game. Jack Healy, 11, and Carson Kepnick with 10. Westby, meanwhile, 2 and 12 overall. They are led in scoring by a trio with nine points a game Bergdahl, McCulley, and Griffin. Conference wise, Westby not are 0 and 9, yet to find a conference win. The stuff we got, I guess. Oh, it might be the only good thing about being the only senior. Is <laughs> <laughs> he got spoiled. He got all the budget, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Could be. Yeah, well, West Salem has some stats here in the Wisports.net. They are averaging a little over 42% from the field. 64% from the free throw line. And I tell you, not really good from the three point line as they are just at 26%. Starting lineup here for the Panthers. So Jack Healy wearing number three, number 10, Carson Kepnick. A sophomore, Healy, a junior, 14, C.J. McConkey, he's a junior. Peter Lactos, a sophomore. And Brett McConkey, a sophomore. Tell you what, there's a young squad also. Senior Gavin Bergdahl, number three, number 11, Grant McCauley. Boy, he's been tough, Dan, uh, in the paint on the glass. He plays with uh, a lot of energy. Hudson Lipsky, number 12. And the third junior on the starting line of time, Cal Griffin, number 13, and then freshman, Rhett 
Stenson wearing 35. These two teams meeting back on the looks like the 12th of January. West Salem winning that one 63-42. So we're underway. Kepnick up to Lados. Kepnick now at the three and he's got it. Didn't take him long to pop that. Should have held off on saying that they weren't that great from three-point land, huh, Dave? Well, <laughs> as a team, they show that, but yeah. you never know. And no, I, I'm not sure how updated these stats are either, but that's what we have to go off of. With sports, it's usually pretty good. Here's Bergdahl now trying to answer, not able to, crashing down through there is McCauley. Great job of getting the fastball on the floor before he traveled with it. Skip it to Stensley now. Here's Bergdahl again. Three-pointer. There's Grant McCulley again. Well, he, I tell you, Dan, if you haven't had, seen the uh, much for the boys as far as that goes, I know you follow those girls a lot with your daughter playing, but Grant McCulley uh, has good springs. He's quick, and he's really active under the, under the glass. Yeah, I know uh, I, uh, he was very, yeah, same, same thing in the game I did watch. I know my, my oldest, I don't know if he... Did a practice over winter break, or I don't know how that worked, but he said, yeah, Grant, uh, his athleticism has improved greatly over the last year, and uh, he's been becoming quite a contributor here. Lipsky, not able to connect. Yeah, the weight room, too. You can see, you can tell when kids are in the weight room, and he's a good example of it. Turnover. Westby or a sale. Her dog guarded by Healy. Glados on Griffin. C.J. McConkie on stenciling. Kepnick gets the assignment against Lipsky. And Brett McConkie down on McCauley. Stenciling, jumper off to just off inside the free throw line. Another loose ball picked up by Westby. And a travel by Lipsky. Three zero early going here. Varsity action. Western Wisconsin Sports Productions. Take Luke along with Dan Grass, the Ken Manning outfit. I don't know where Ken's at. He's somewhere tonight, and then he'll be heading up the walk before individual state wrestling. Three pointer, not good by Brett McConkey. Yeah, you know, the state tournaments. I know lacrosse is hosting several of the divisions this year, but I never heard for sure which divisions it was. Do you know, Dave? They have not come out with that yet. I they think they're, kind of, okay. they're probably going to watch how you, these teams are going to kind of filter through, I'm going to guess, the regionals. Sure. And then make those decisions. Um, or even maybe as late as the sectionals, I'm not sure. But Bergdahl, he's been shooting really well from three-point land. Oh, he's a good shooter. Always has been. Three to three, the score is. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how that... Uh, all works its way through. I'm guessing a lot of your area schools, if they work their way through, will uh, they'll want to keep those divisions near lacrosse. Scramble on the four, picked up at McConkey. Kepnick trying to drive on Bergdahl. This one over to Healy. Up to Lado, she'll get into the paint. Dishes off late to CJ McConkey. And They'll count it, and he'll accept to the free throw line. Good ball movement by the West Salem. Well, it was a good catch and finish by McConkey there. You said he was averaging, what, 19 points a game? Mm hmm Almost 20. Yeah. 
ability to finish shots like that and, and power through fouls is uh, a great way to, to get your scoring average up. And McConkey looks like he's built for that, for sure. Yeah, both McConkeys are, aren't they? They're, they're solid young men. Griffin now. He'll float it inside to McCulley. Tries to straighten up and going baseline to stenciling and taken out of there by McConkey. Up ahead to Healy, followed by Griffin. That occurred on the floor. Kepnick. That's a pretty Another good one. shot, too. Boy, that, uh, you had a high archer. Mm -hmm. Bergdahl trying to work his way through, and they said he got underneath it. Coach Halverson just telling his group to calm down. Take your time through it. Taylor Funstead entering the game for stenciling. Healy, goes baseline, he slid it looked like. Yep, they'll call him for a travel. That left foot slid out from underneath him as he tried to put the brakes on. Nine three, West Salem with the early lead. 13 and a half minute mark here in the first half. West be heading up to Gillis to Trumpel tomorrow night, West Salem. I believe they're going to Black River Falls. Lipsky, three. Got it. Let's see him quickly in transition. There's going to be a travel on their end of the floor as uh, C.J. McConkey just a little too quick. He'll take a break coming in, number five, Zach Niemeyer. Of course, tomorrow night we'll have um, regional play here at Westby where the Lady Norse will post River Valley. River Valley finding their way through the first round of regionals by beating Viroqua at Viroqua. Lipsky, left side, three, good. Lipsky's that kind of shooter, though. He, when, he gets, when he gets hot, he can, uh, he can he can carry an offense for, for stretches of a game, for sure. And, and, he, and he, he can, but blocked by McCulley in there. And turnover. McCulley, a great job getting up and blocking the shot by Peter Lados. Nine nine right now the score. Yeah, Hudson Lipsky showed that last year. This year he's a little more difficult kind of finding the range or the bottom of the net. But last year, and there's typical, he'd have you know, being five or six a game. Right. Deep threes and deep threes. Griffin over to Winnegar's and entered the game. That'll be short. Griffin tries to save it off the body of Lados and he controls it and he'll push it up the floor to Kepnick into the corner of Healy back to Kepnick long three on the way and it's good. Carson Kepnick three for three from long range 12-9 right now 11:47 mark. Skip pass all across all the way across to Winninger. Kind of look at the conference standings here, Dave. And we'll say I'm seven one in the conference, and Luther is nine and one in the conference. And the three by Griffin. So big game here for West Salem if they want to. They want a, a shot at the conference title here. That one missing and almost taken away by Kepnick. Bergdahl and. Stenciling coming back on, McCulley and Griffin getting a break. Entering for West Salem is Carson Mooney, number 11. And C.J. McConkey comes back on the floor and stepping up to the table and coming in will be Cody Miller, number four. And Carson Kepnick will get to take a break. Yeah, you're right, Dan. It is uh, nine and one and seven and one and you'll- Sure, I'm just looking at uh, West Salem's schedule here. They, uh, 
if they're going to play Black River Falls tomorrow, I suppose that might be their last conference game. As they're just running out of time here. Yeah, so Black, Black River Falls, uh, uh, yeah, Black River is an awful, awful nice squad too. Yeah, they're, I think they're young as well, if I remember. Very I know they had, a, they had some uh, a freshman who was getting good minutes last year. Everybody seems to be young this year. 12-12 the score here. Winnegar, Lipsky, Bergdahl, stenciling, and Funstead on the floor for the Norse. Lipsky with the score. Gives Westby its first lead here, coming up on 10 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Niemeyer, Healy, Miller, Mooney, and C.J. McConkey on the floor for the Panthers. This is Neely. Nice drive and runner by Mooney, was not able to finish it. Winnegar looking for Lipsky to the elbow, back to Winnegar in the corner. He'll drive. Just missing. So I'm looking at uh, Luther's schedule here. They're playing at Viroqua tonight. So that should be a good one. Yeah, so uh, West Salem looking for a little help from Viroqua, and if they, they can win these next two games, they have a shot to win the conference outright. Yeah, and I think the Viroqua, I'm not sure where they are as far as depth. I know that they had some uh, I saw, COVID I, I, issues. I noticed, uh, I believe West Salem was supposed to play Viroqua on, uh, on Monday night, and that one was postponed. I suppose it's probably officially canceled by now. But. Well, you know that COVID's a big concern, and you'd, as we said earlier, you, you see the players with those masks down below their nose, and you just, <laughs> if one player gets it, it's going to shut it down right before tournaments or into tournaments. That'd be a terrible thing. Skipping it across, Mooney. Back over here to Niemeyer, oh, launches it. Bergdahl with the rebound. I thought that one looked good coming out of his hand. It was right on, right on course, but just a little too long, too strong for. Was that Mooney? Yep. Stenciling three-pointer, right side, good. But so Westby shooting well from the three-point arc, and there's a timeout on the floor. West Salem, with Westby up 17-12. So we'll see now what um, comes of that timeout by West Salem. Well, I think it's probably just probably went over. I guess I would go over. You know, they're going to have to get stretch their defense just a little bit as uh, Westby has proven that they're uh, maybe a traveling violation there by uh, Ogum. Yeah, Sawyer just coming onto the floor wearing number 23. Kepnick comes back onto the floor. So it's CJ McConkey. Mooney, Haugam, Miller, and Kepnick for the Panthers. Nice try, nice finish. Nice finish. That's yeah, the same, same play we saw the JV uh, get a lot of good buckets on. It's been a, been a pretty successful one. Very, very pretty hard to defend. 
if you know if it's executed well. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Grant McCauley, he, he elevates quickly and he gets up. <coughs> Turnover West Salem. Kenny Halverson on the floor right now has Griffin, Lipsky, Bergdahl, Stenciling, and McCauley. Yeah, back to McCauley, I mean, you said something before, he springs and that's what it is, you know, he, uh, you're right, quick jumper and quick feet got a little, feet got a little ahead of him that time and he spun before he could get the ball down and he was a traveling violation, but yeah, he, uh, he gets off the ground very quickly and that, that's just as important as getting off the ground. There's and a now steal by Stensling. It's not paying attention, but with Salem, Stensling finishing strong, not able to put it down, but he drew the foul on Kepnick. You kind of you kind of feel uh, and see Westby's Westby's confidence in this ball game is really. Uh, they look like they're they're playing relaxed and. Able to do a lot of positive things here so far in the first half. Well, you, you think about that now too. Is what you're speaking earlier of uh, the importance of this game for West Salem, right? Uh, to maybe fight for a conference, a crown or tie, and then Westby nothing to lose. They're just coming out here and playing. Yeah, and, and who knows? You know, I mean, Westby has not. You know, they haven't got that conference win yet. You know, West Salem could have came in here thinking about Black River tomorrow, and. Uh, Westby's playing free and easy and giving them, giving them all they all they can handle so far as McConkie's able to draw the foul. Yeah, great penetration and, and a spin. Step to the line to shoot two. Twenty one twelve. You want to come away with something here. 737 remaining first half. Bergdahl brings it across the timeline, guarded by Haugam. Helion Griffin. Inside to McCauley. Nice little give to Bergdahl and that was a nice, nice handoff, and Gavin was, was not able to handle it. Couldn't quite handle it, and then he saved that and threw it through about six different people, and miraculously, I don't know how it didn't touch anybody. <laughs> it didn't. I'm not saying it did. I just right. Active feet and hands of McCauley able to secure that rebound to uh, for the Norris. Westby trying to extend this lead to 21-13. Now we're going to bring in number two in Cooper Breitung. They said Thunstead was at the bench. He checked in, so he needs to come in. Brett will Stensley will take a seat. Probably had a play they wanted to run from the sideline and wanted to keep the group that was out there, but you now we'll start things up in the half court. Good help there by Latos there. I think Hudson wanted to do that kind of step back three. I think but Latos jumped it and prevented Lipsky from getting the, from getting the look. Yeah, he's got good length too, so. He does. Now Griffin lets it fly McCulley. Trying to keep it alive. And he must have stepped on the End line. Must have been on that line when they touched it there. I thought uh, I thought maybe the West Salem player came in and, and knocked it away. But well, you're right. And Grant McCauley is just his motor does not quit. Play a block there on Thunstead. That was pretty close call, but
No, I think he's, uh, and considering the size that he's gone against in, in this school this year, there's some mm -hmm. six, 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 seven guys, and he has battled right with them. Brett McConkey back on the floor, 22. Healy not able to make either one of his two attempts at the line. Tied up with Salem basketball. Stensley coming back in now for Thunstead. That it almost looked like uh, Hudson was ready to move before he secured the right. ball. He knew where he wanted to go, but yeah, you know, those kind of things happen. Before when you're, if you're if you're Westby, I mean, you're you're kind of an underdog in this one, and uh, those are the kind of turnovers you just hate to see. Yeah, you know, just kind of just kind of the unforced, you kind of cost yourself a possession there, and, and West Salem able to take advantage with McConkey finishing at the rim. Yeah, he was strong too. Salem on the move in transition, and getting it is Healy. Chance to make it a three-point play here is West Salem. A couple of buckets, now a free throw. Chance to cut this to a three-point game. Winninger's going to check in for, for Griffin. I think if you're Westby here, you know, you got to you got to secure this rebound if there is one, and I think it's a must score possession, but you'd like to see him run good off. It's been a, it seems like it's been a couple possessions before they've gotten, gotten the, the look that they've wanted. And Winninger going up high after that one. 21 17, under five minutes for staff action. Lipsky, three. You know, that one it didn't go, but I, that, that, that's the look that they wanted, and they kind of got it as their hot shooter. And Lipsky's going to pick up the foul there with the. Block on uh, Healy. Yeah, he tried to try to get into position, but Healy was just a little too quick there. Yep. That's uh, it's gonna put West Salem into the bonus here. And Healy, right now, he's old from three from the line. So Birdall finds his way into the lane. Flipped it out, but right between McCauley and Stensley. We're going to get a timeout here by Coach Halverson. Trying to, trying to sell the boys now. We're at 4.24 to go here in the half. Westby clinging to a 21-17 lead. 30-second timeout for, taken by the Norris. Right tongue, Kepnick, Healy, Lados, and Brett McConkey on the floor. Nice inside, and uh, Lados finishes it. Yeah, he got he got real good position on stenciling there, and uh, he knew what to do with it once he caught that ball. He went straight to the rim and, and finished. Winner gives it off to Lipsky. Stenciling McCulley and Bergdahl join them. all up in the corner and knocked out from behind nicely by Healy and he's able to finish so nice play there and just like that Healy. West Salem has tied this game up so Westby looking to finish this half up 
And the three-point attempt rings out. Macaulay there trying to save it, but it goes into the hands of Healy. I, I feel like this is a big possession for Westby defensively. And try, to, try to stop the bleeding here and get a stop. Kepnick tried it a little yeah, I quick think on he, the trigger, uh, I yeah, think. Yeah, he didn't, didn't quite get his feet set, I don't think, compared to the other threes that he has made. But right, I agree. He, he was kind of looking to uh, take the heart away from the Norse here. That would have been a big shot. Yeah, kind of finished that turnaround anyway. Yeah. Now Winnegar strong to the rim and foul on the floor. Good aggressive take by Jack Winnegar. Just the third team foul for West Salem. 2.52 to go here in the first half, 21 all. Bergdahl back to back out. And now we have a illegal screen. I think we got Lipsky. Lipsky out of the illegal screen there. Brett Kroom entering the game for Lipsky. Lipsky's second foul of this first half. 228 left, tied up at 21. with the three ball. That's Brett McConkey. We're going a little bit of trouble. Gets the bird doll. And now a blocking foul. Boy, Westby, West Salem had Westby a little bit of trouble and a blocking foul yeah. by Healy. And still only the fourth team foul coming up on two minutes to go here in the half. Hey, you talk about Gavin Bergdahl being the only senior for Westby. West Salem. Uh, Cooper Brighton and uh, Carson Mooney are the two seniors on those squads. Right. That squad. So both teams young. Whenever getting into the lane, good job of keeping his feet. There's McConkey to pick up the loose ball. Gets a player up in the air. And oof. stenciling comes away with it. Uh, Tell you what, um, Bergdahl took a shot in the nose. He did, he did. An inadvertent shot in right. the nose, but. Uh, Stenciling, good job. Just using power to get up on the glass and finish it. And credit McCauley for keeping it going. Yeah, there are a lot of times in this game of basketball where it just helps to be a really good, strong athlete, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and that was one of them for Stenciling, and he took advantage of it and got a chance to tie this one up. Lipsky will come back on in. Oh, he's going to attend to Bergdahl. And a three-point play completed. Not up 24 each. One and a half left here in the first half. That was almost got it stolen by Stensling. Over here to Niemeyer. Now in the hands of Miller. Healy. Back to Niemeyer. There's the yeah, travel. travel yep. Slid that pivot foot just a bit before he took his dribble. And Refs call it tight tonight, but it's they're consistent. Being pretty patient so far. Oh, somehow, <laughs> somehow, somehow, Kroom came away with that one. Just about. Yeah, that was a great, great look by. Ooh, we're going to get a, a block and a finish there for Latos. 
Essentially tried to step in and draw that charge, but what a good strong move by Latos. He's going to get a chance for another three-point play. Been a lot of three-point plays in this game so far, hasn't there, Dave? Yeah, there have been. He really stretched out for that. Well, Latos has a pretty big wingspan the way it looks to uh, Dan. And he uh, used it on that play. He used it. Really stretched out, laid it up high off the glass. Bergdahl back on the floor. Short. Tip out, back into, <laughs> or back into lateral sack Lattles play. Lattles is going to get the four-point play. Of the oh, that was fast. Way. Yeah, that was uh, quick ball handling. You know, uh, whoever knocked that ball, tipped it to an opponent and then got the pass. That was a that was good team basketball there by West Salem. Good. Two really smart plays there. Got themselves a layup. 28-24, 19 seconds left. Foul committed. Had that one to give. That was by Miller. Just his first. Lipsky guarded by Niemeyer. Coming up on five seconds left. Lipsky looking to do something here. Steps back. Down to one. Puts up the three. Front rim and no. Yeah. Uh, Hudson is not able to get that win. Not able to square up and get get a line very well. No, I was defended very well there, I thought, there, you know, by Latos. He's, it's a couple of times he's come off a screen to try to get that three-point look, and Latos has been right there with all his length to uh, prevent that from happening. So right now it's 24 Westby, 28 West Salem at the half. And we'll see what the second half brings. Um, I want to take a look at the first time these teams met. I think it was pretty tight at halftime as well. And it was, it was 20 West be 24 West Salem, four point game just like it is right now. But the second half West Salem came out and almost dropped in 40. Westby's 20, so big difference. We'll bring you second half action. getting set to take place. 28 West Salem, 24 Westby leading the way for West Salem. Carson Kepnick with a nine on three of four from three point range. But they also get four out of Healy, four out of CJ McConkey, six out of Peter Galados, and five out of Brett McConkey. Westby, eight out of Hudson Lipsky, three from Cal Griffin, Grant McCauley with two, Gavin Bergdahl with three, and Rhett Stensling with seven. Well, Dan, what does Westby want to do this second half? Well, I think they need to take care of the basketball. Not any unforced turnovers. And, you know, I think, you know, they made their run there. They shot the ball really well. Played with a lot of energy. I think that's what they need to do the entire second half. Yeah, 
And there's some quick hands there, knocking that ball out of bounds, trying to get it into Brett McConkey. Thoughts on West Salem? I think uh, West Salem, I think they just want to get into their game, and uh, I think that's part of it, you know, McConkey, C.J. McConkey, their leading scorer, get him involved early. And then you just take care of the basketball and play their game. I think they feel like they're the better team, and they can should be able to get out of here with a W if they just stick to what they do well. Yeah, I totally agree with you, especially, you know, you got a big matchup uh, tomorrow night with uh, Black River Falls and their Stenson. Wow, it just rimmed it out. Akanki with the rebound. And you don't want to get caught overlooking. No. I'm not saying they are. I'm just... No, I, 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 mean, I don't know either, but in that first half when Westview made their run there, it just seemed like they had a lot more energy and they were playing loose and confident, and West, and West Salem looked, appeared a little tight, and then I, I said not, having seen them play much, that's uh, kind of a bold statement to make, but. No, I agree with you. Hutter and Kepner coming out and just being on fire. There's Bergdahl. He, uh. Was one for one in the first half of threes. Starts up the second half of the three. Yeah, I think if you're if you're uh, you know if you're Westby, trying trying to get Bergdahl and uh, and Lipsky more involved outside the arc, might might be the way you can uh, pull this upset here. And he's he's a just just strong. Well, he sliced does. down the lane. I like the way he finishes. For a big guy, I mean, he uses his, his length and not not very doesn't look very strong. I mean, that's a bad word. He's not not very thick and kind of lanky, but he he uses his length to perfection there as he as he attacks the rim. Yeah, he's probably pretty dense. It takes a hit and it doesn't really knock right, him around. Right. Right. And uh, he completes that for a three point play. Just a sophomore. Twenty-seven thirty-three. Early going second half. Weniger, Lipsky, Bergdahl, McCauley, and Stensling, and Lipsky with a little floater for two. Pretty looking shot. It was. Healy, Lados, Kepnick, C.J. McConkey, and Brett McConkey for the Panthers. Inside. Triple teamed and high off the glass with the left hand goes Lados. Another another impressive he scored different that way. That time he got the ball, kept his composure. Now you go, oh, what a great pass. Kept his composure, got that layup, and then he kind of got the steal there. And then just a quick touch pass over to uh I didn't Kepnick see it was. Yep. Kepnick yep. who got the layup. That was a that was an impressive run there by Mr. Latos. So timeout on the floor, Westby. It's 37-29. I think if you're Westby, that's not, not the start you were looking forward to this second half. We're kind of, you know, down four coming in into that ball game, in the, into the second half. And, uh, and I've watched that uh, double on him here in the first under three minutes of the second half. So. Right well, pl plenty of game left. Chip away. And you got uh, Winnegar back in the ball game. I think they like the way he handles the handles the basketball in this pressure situations. And that was a rather actually a really good no call. I, I, I think so too. Yep. And that's uh, that was not going to be a no call. As, and McCauley doesn't really like the call, but the way he kind of came in and kind of you know kind of chopped down at that one. That uh, yeah, if he just reached he, he, out and just stopped yeah, the ball. Yep, you know, but when you, yeah, he, uh, his, his, his aggressive style of play kind of cost him there, I think, even if he didn't make much contact. It sure looked like he did. But again, he gets up in the air in such a hurry that, <laughs> well, you know, I don't, I, you know he was I, I don't think you even mentioned to him that, uh, you know, I mean, that, that's the way he plays, and it's a, it's a valuable piece to have on a ball team. So you do what you do, Grant McCauley. That's right. McConkey good on one of two, 
938 West Salem. Must be just struggling a little again, a little bit against this pressure. Well, you know, they put the, they put Mr. Latos there in the uh, top. That's a nice pass down to McCauley and a good finish. No oh, shoot, I didn't have the camera move. Well, that's my fault. Inside now to McConkey, kicks it across to Healy, spin, lifts it, and drops it in. Nice move by Jack Healy. Bergdahl. Good job by Lipsy getting uh, Lattos to commit to jumping. Dribbling past him. Now they're into their half court set. Nine point lead now, West Salem. 11 14. Or 14 minutes, 10 seconds left, second half. Looks like Griffin set the check in on the next break. Lipsky looked at McCauley. I'd get it into him. Let's see if he can do down that post. Densely driving. And a follow up block. And Good first step there by Stensley. I mean, he just blew by, blew by his defender. And McConkey wasn't able to, to get his feet set in time to draw that charge. So they're going to call it a shooting foul. That's kind of. So Rhett will shoot two. Got the first. I feel like in the high school game, that's the. That would have been called before the shot. In a lot of time, but Stenslin shoots two, makes two. Good looking shot there from the freshman. Seven point West Salem lead, 40 33. Healy inside to Brett McConkey. Gives up to CJ McConkey, double clutch it, not able to score it, but Brett McConkey's right there to clean it up. Bergdahl puts it up to Griffin. Skips the stencil and gets to the elbow. He likes that spot. That's be a little short. Healy up to Kepnick, up to CJ McConkey. He takes it right to the glass. Again, Brett McConkey <laughs> cleaning up. Back to back offensive putback for Brett McConkey. 44 33. They go low to McCauley and just not able to finish it, but it was the right idea. And now Bergdahl is getting in the way of Lattos. He couldn't maneuver around Gavin. Gavin came away with it. I'd take it right back down into M McCauley. Yeah, I see they, well they got that mismatch. They had Kepnick on uh, McCauley in the post there. and Everything worked to perfection other than the, uh, and now other than the shot. Now we're going to get a foul on McConkey. <laughs> Griffin will inbounds. Brett Kroom, Taylor Funstead on the floor. Stensley and Lipsky, timeout West Salem. Be a short one. Score here is 44 to 33, 11 point lead for the Panthers. Got it in the crew. 12 minute mark. But it looks like West Salem is 
little more aggressive on defense right now. And there's the turnover. Conkey gets up ahead to Niemeyer. And he puts it down. Lipsky somehow got that bounce pass through to Funstead on the baseline. He tries to work it, nothing there. And Lipsky again, getting into the lane and knocking it down. A good decision by Lipsky. I think he thought about that deep three and uh, tried to attack the rim instead. I did, did. Obviously, when it works, it's a great decision, but at the time, I thought it was a good decision. Kept looking. That's a, definitely has a nice looking jump shot there. That's his, is that his fourth of the game? Fourth of the game, yeah. A smooth shooter. I actually like the way the Lipsky, when he gets into the lane, it's almost like he's forcing contact, looking to make contact and, and get the shot off. He's really good at that. Yeah. Now a little step back. The sixth of the half. One of the better offensive outputs from Hudson Lipsky. Number 15 on the floor now, Trenton Parrott. He gives it off to C.J. McConkey. And it's 51-37. 10 minutes approaching. Carson Mooney also back on the floor. Now Lipsy will launch a long one and short. Dylan Ellison stepped onto the floor, his first appearance. Bergdahl and McCulley come back on the floor. Lipsky, Funstead, and Stensling taking a breather. Winnegar now comes on, and Brett Kroom will step off. That's the Westby changes. Number four, Cody Miller stepping on for the Panthers, and Kepnick will catch a break. Mooney, Kepnick, Niemeyer, C.J. McConkey. And Trenton Parrott. That ball great, got great hands down there by, I don't know. Ellison. Ellison. Yeah, a number of uh, steals with his quick hands in a, in a JV game. He did. I'm not sure how he didn't get called for a travel rolling around on there with the ball, but he didn't, and Westby's going to take the ball. Oh, that was great defense by Ellison. Twice he had the had his hands in there to prevent that uh, McConkey shot there. And there, he might are not happy about it. Be two pretty good contact there uh, on Jack. working away down there. Gets his own rebound, goes up again. He had the mismatch first and then Parrott came over and did a great job of double teaming. He did and then that's, a, that's where that quick jumping ability comes in. You know, he was, got a shot blocked first, the first time and he was up again, I think, before anybody could react and the, the rest of the defenders were late to jump and that's how he drew the foul. Hits his first. Not the second, C.J. McConkey clears the boards. Niemeyer into the corner to Miller. And again, the last two times down, Dan, they've looked to try to get it in, and they have to uh, C.J. McConkey down low. CJ losing control, lost a handle. 
Out of bounds, Westy basketball. I think they might have changed their mind, it looks like, almost. Lato's coming back on the play. floor. They must have talked about it, huh? Must have. I, I, I missed it. I didn't see it. I was trying to check on. Checking your Vegas lines, are you? No. <laughs> no, I just, I just saw your computer. I was looking at the live feed, thought that it... It froze up for a second. I was just going to pull it up on my phone and oh, okay. see if, if it was just a computer or if uh, we seem to be up and running now. So. I don't know what I was going to do about it if it was. It's kind of out of my hand. <laughs> I usually knock things around, Dan, you know, yeah. bound it a little bit and see what happens. Well, they kind of frown upon just a random person carrying a hammer into the, <laughs> into the school. So. <laughs> Good hands there by Miller. And then he... Just call for the carry, I'm not. Yeah, once McCauley put it on the floor, he was right there to pick it up. He was, he was. I think he got a tough break there. I was, I've seen uh, more egregious carries than that, I guess. Brightung and Healy come onto the floor. Parrott and Miller get a rest. Bergdahl. Look for the Cuddy McCauley, not there. Now a little fadeaway again from Lipsky, and he's feeling it. He's fun to watch when he gets warm. He is, and uh, he's always, uh, from the, when I've watched him play, he's he's always a very good shooter. His feet weren't exactly squared up, but he always, he does a real good job of getting his shoulders square wherever he's at and shooting, and it shows he's a very good shooter. Neely with the miss, McCauley clears it. Yeah, he's just a, a kid who can really create space for a shot. Really good at that. Yep. Off the dribble. Griffin double clutching. And now he gets called a little frustration foul there as he reached around Mooney. Still maintains an 11 point lead as West Salem 51 40. Brett Stensling coming on for McCulley. Wow, that's a great move. <laughs> yeah. That's a great move by uh, Cody Miller there. A kind of a hesitation dribble, and he took it right down to the paint, Dan, and put it up amongst uh, the taller kids. So a travel called on Westby. Really. You're going to return the favor there with a travel on uh, Healy, I think. There, I think we lost the uh, stream maybe a little bit there. Got her back the way it looks to me. It is 5340, 642 left. West Salem with the lead. Allison over to Bird down out of Hudson Lipsky. Some good hands there by Retag. Retung? Brightung. Brightung, okay. He's a good block there by Healy. And that's why I was going to be out of bounds to West Salem. Is Ellison, I believe, tried to save that and he kind of jumped from out of bounds. And so McCauley comes back on. Appears to be Coach Halverson starting five on the floor now for the Norseman. Miller looked inside, trying to get the bright tongue. It floated over his head. Those two, two are on the floor with Healy. Oh. Latos and Mooney. 
for head coach Steve Kasten Schmidt. Marcali, hard to the glass, drew the foul. coming on for Carson Mooney. Dan Grant is good on both of those. 53-42 West Salem. Five and a half left here, second half. Penciling with the rebound. He hands it off to Griffin. Try to work Lipsky off a couple screens here. And here comes Griffin popping out. And picked up by Lados. He goes quickly down. Oh, what a pass. To Miller, yeah, that oh, was just uh, a dime. I got wrapped up in watching that one live, and I forgot to move the camera over. I apologize. That was a, a wonderful <laughs> baseball pass from Latos. Right on the money. To get the layup, yeah. Now we try to go inside to McCauley. And McCauley's scrambling around, and he has it. Well, you're going to play against Grant McCauley down there. You better bring your lunchbox, because you're, you're, you're in for a battle. You really are. <laughs> you really are. You know, timeout on the floor, 438 mark, Westby. Down here by 13, 55 to 42. You watched the Super Bowl last Sunday, Dan? <laughs> Unfortunately, I, uh, I, I I watched a good part of it. I didn't, yeah. find, I didn't find it very entertaining. I didn't really care who won. Mm -hmm. Either way, I just I just felt like it was just kind of a snoozer of a game. What about you? Well, I like defensive football, so. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, boy, Tampa Bay's defense was impressive. They were just phenomenal. And, and of course, you know, the Tom Brady is Tom Brady. He's just, you say what you want to say about him, he's a winner. He is. Uh, he, he's one of those guys. I, I wonder if anything's ever gone wrong for him. Not many teams <laughs> go, out, go out and get a 43-year-old quarterback. <laughs> no. Uh, and that's what Tampa Bay did. Inside to Ellison, tried to get it to McCauley, but standing in the way was the West Salem defense. Now Healy gets to the block, kicks it up here. Shot underway by Miller, not able to make it. Lados goes to rebound, and Bergdahl gets in there to knock it out of bounds. No, I'm not, not going to argue with Tom Brady's greatness. I mean, his record is, is what it is, but... Uh, Boy, did everything just seems to go right for that man. I mean, he, he throws three second-half interceptions against Green Bay and gets to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, uh, just all the Super Bowls that he's won. And th probably his best year with his best team, when he, only, when he had the 50-plus touchdowns with Randy Moss, and there was 18-0 and 0 going into that Super Bad luck is what beat him. Yep. Yeah, that was, that was probably his best team and his best season. And yep, but other, other than that, boy, I tell you what, everything sure seems to fall that guy's way. Good clean living, I guess, huh? Well, yeah, isn't that something? <laughs> now you take a look at pictures of his first Super Bowl to his last, and yeah, he doesn't look like he's aged. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if they had some quick trips down there in, in Tampa, the, he'd be buying that ice cream just like everybody else does up here. Right. <laughs> Ellison, Ellison set the trigger it. Kind of token pressure out of the Panthers. Four minute mark of this contest. Long three by Bergdahl, just a little short. Ellison trying to knock it away, swatted, draw the foul. That'll get the attention of the stripes. Five team fouls for both both squads here at 352 left. So each team with a foul to give before 
bonus free throws will be shot. Battles down low, hands it off to McConkey. Brett McConkey for his third field goal of the half. Well, I'm going to say it again, but that's uh, Peter Latos has uh, had an, um, quite an impressive game. He does it. He does it. Seems to do everything well. You know, he's one of you know, actually several really talented young big men in the conference. Yeah, okay. Nice little pass from Griffin down to McCauley. McCauley tries to get it back to Griffin. Oh, that's a good idea. A little, little too much mustard on that one, though, and Griffin just not able to corral it. So Griffin will trigger the inbounds pass. 3.05 left, 42.57 now, West Salem. That's a nice block. And <laughs> McCutcheon kind of took that one off the chest. He, it's like he saw it coming, he just couldn't react <laughs> quick enough. And McCulley's only choice was to make that play. Now Lipsky will go deep three. And oh, there's Griffin for the rebound. That ball, Lipsky just went in, rolled around, and came back out and still almost went in. Yeah, right. Uh, when, when those don't go in, you're, you're, you're due to bank one in at some point, aren't you? Yeah. That stuff evens out. Definitely. Neely gives it off to McConkie, up to Kepnick. Far side, Latos. And boy, he tried to go inside to C.J. McConkie, and McCullough did a great job of rotating down and stepping in front of that pass. Again, tomorrow, West, Westby boys head up to Gillick or Trempolo. Well, West Salem will head up to Black River Falls. Here on Facebook Live, you can catch at 7 o'clock Westby Lady Norse taking on River Valley in regional basketball. Westby drawing a bye. Earned the one seed in their uh, region. Yeah, River Valley finding their way here by beating Baroque on Tuesday. Foul on the floor, 17 foul on West Salem. So Rhett Stenson is up to the line. Sawyer so Haugam, number 23, along with number one, Brady Scollin, enter the game. And you forget this young guy's a, saw a freshman. He plays uh, not like a freshman. No, he's, he's a very, very athletic kid. And I was just going to say that that free, last free throw was standing. He's got a good soft touch from the free throw line. Yep. The way he plays, he's going to he's going to put up a lot of points at the free throw line in the next three plus years for Westby, I think. There's Lipsky. That's his 11th point of the second half. Picking up his third foul. Scalin back to back to Kepnick. Under a minute here to go in the ball game. And there's guess who? Grant McCauley. And that went off of Makaki. Scallon tried to get it into CJ. It'll be timeout West Salem. Individual state wrestling this weekend. Occurring in a couple different locations. The ones being Wausau. 
And Dylan Nottestead of Westby will be up there going for a title. This is, uh, I know he went last year. Is this his second or third trip to state? I think it's his second. I don't know if he went as a freshman. I don't know that. I guess I don't know either, but I, I know he went last year. Best of luck to Dylan. Yeah, best of luck to him. I was trying to take a look and see uh, what his bracket looked like. But not able to pull that up. 59-48 here as the last few seconds are going to tick away. <laughs> Ripping blocked inside. I just a little bit lapped. <laughs> That's about the third time in a row. If you're the referee underneath that baseline stuff with Grant around it, you yeah. better be on your toes. <laughs> and that time McConkey <laughs> kind of turned his body expecting that ball to come hurtling at him again. <laughs> right? He thought, I'm not going to get nailed again. <laughs> Must be coaches getting those kids to play right down to the final zeros. Bird doll. Oh. Near steal there by Bergdahl. Nice job by uh, by Kepnick. Was just able to kind of keep control of that ball and draw that foul. Yeah, I thought that the Bergdahl was going to get around him. I thought the same thing. I thought that Carson did a good job of, you know, kind of sealing his body yep. and, and uh, getting Bergdahl to take him down, actually, missing that free throw. McConkey with the rebound. 15 ticks left. Boy, I just looking at this, I think the... Uh, the rest of the co coaches in the Cooley Conference are going to have had enough of uh, number 22, Brett McConkey after a few more years. He's only a sophomore. Yeah, he's topping the glass. Oh, 11-point victory here tonight as West Salem comes into the field house and hands a defeat to the Norsemen. Looks like Hudson Lipsky leads the way for the Norsemen with 19 points. Brett McConkey ended up with 11. 11 out of Peter Lados. 9 out of CJ McConkey. 14 out of Kepnick. Couple out of Niemeyer. 4 out of Miller. And 2 from Healy. Must be at 6 out of Bergdahl to go along with Lipsky's 19. McCulley ended up with six. Griffin ended up with five. And Stenciling ended with ten. So the final here, 59-48. Again, Westby traveling to Gaelic Triple tomorrow night. West Sailing heading up to Black River Falls. And here on Westby's home channel, Facebook, will be the Lady Norse taking on River Valley, 7 o'clock. Since they tip off anymore, if they don't tip it off, no. it'll be uh, <laughs> 7 o'clock. Half court. <laughs> Seven o'clock <laughs> toss in. Toss in, there you go. Well, again, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, Ken Manning Productions, this has been Dave Gluck along with Dan Grass, and we look forward to bringing you more action tomorrow night right here from Westby. Have a great evening. <laughs>